Hello guys, this is Alex, and welcome to Minicraft. Minicraft is a small game uh, in a single Java file that Nudge created for the Ludum challenge this uh, last weekend. Um, you can find it, I'll put a link in the description, so you can play it yourself and it just runs in a browser. Uh, the playing resolution is uh, 480 times 360 in uh, a little window in in your browser, so it's not a very large game, and it it only takes up about 76 kilobytes or something. So let's get started here. Uh, I just selected a new game, and you get put into this random world. Uh, the world is randomly generated. I watched most of the live stream when he programmed it, and it's amazing how fast he programs and how many great ideas he gets. So, uh, the game is basically Minecraft in 2D. So, what you gotta do is you start off, you have an inventory uh, where you start off with a workbench and a power glove. We're gonna get into those things later. And you start off by punching trees. And you can see the damage the tree takes, and when the tree breaks, you get apples, wood, and acorns. So, the first material you're gonna need uh, is wood, of course. If at any point you are in doubt of what you need to do, just think about Minecraft. I'm sorry for the bad sound, but uh, the recording software I usually use, namely fraps. Um, I don't know how to get it to record a small section of the screen only in a browser, so... This thing I just fought was a slime, and these are zombies. There's no day-night cycle here, so the zombies are out by day. Um, so now I have some apples, some wood, acorns, cloth, which the zombie drops, and slimes, which the slime drops. Um, the keys you use for the game are simple. I use the arrow keys on the keyboard and X and C as in Charlie. And X opens up your inventory and closes it again and C selects or uses or attacks. So that's all the keys there are. Only these few keys. So let's see. First off, I'm going to put down the workbench here. And... I can make a wood sword, axe, hoe, pick, or shovel, and you can probably recognize those from the uh, from Minecraft. So let's make a sword, a pick, and a shovel for now, because I had just enough for that. I should have made an axe also, but we're just going to cut down a few more trees here. At the bottom down there, you can see my health. And the lightning uh, below that is your endurance. And if your endurance empties out, you get a penalty. So this here is stone, and we need that. So I'm going to use my pick. And oh, here comes a zombie. So let's take out our sword. Ah, I can't get that. So. Come on, there. I picked up some stone and some coal now. And the coal you use to smelt things in a furnace or in an oven. You cannot make torches, but you can make something called lanterns, which you place on the ground, like I placed the, the workbench here. Um, let's see. I don't want to use these wooden tools, because just like in... Uh, Minecraft, the wooden tools suck. So now I've got a rock axe, and those cut down the trees much faster, as you might be able to tell. And I can use my axe as a weapon. It's not quite as effective as a sword, but my um, the sword I have is wooden, and the axe I have is stone, so I think in this case the axe is probably better. So I'm just gathering resources here. I want some more uh, stone. 
So you can see when I empty my endurance bar down there, I get a penalty, it blinks. And that uh, stops me from doing anything for a short while. I can still move, but not as fast. Okay, so we got a little more. Oh, hello. Go away. I can use my power glove and whoops, pick up my workbench. But I do need to use my power glove for that. So let's make a let's see a rock a rock sword. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, you can see I have zero and what it costs to make. So a rock sword, I have an axe, a pick, and hoe and shovel I don't really need. I actually do need a, a shovel, but let's just make one. And a hoe, just so we got all the uh, all the materials in rock. And I need some wood to make a chest so I can get rid of all the crummy items, because you cannot drop items on the ground. And as you can see, I'm slowly clearing this area of trees. So what I can do is I can go in here, select my acorns, and just go around and planting trees again. Just like saplings. Originally it was called saplings, but we changed it to acorns. And I don't have any problem with that. It's a similar thing you do. So then I planted all of them. So and let's see if I have enough for a workbench. I need 20 and I have 15. So the axe and get some more wood. And as you can see, you get wood planks here. You don't have to make the, the logs into planks. But uh, most of the uh, most of the recipes and the way stuff works is it taken exactly out of Minecraft. So now I can make a chest there. I have it in my inventory. I'm going to plop it down here. And I can push these things not very fast, but uh, so like there. Oh, and we need the sword. Go away. OK, so I can walk up to the chest, select stuff in my inventory I no longer want, and put it over into my chest here. I don't need the cloth. And let's see. Coal, acorns. Get rid of the acorns for now. Wood, slime, apple, stone, and coal. OK. Oh, here is an. That was a cactus. And I can replant the cactus, I think. Yes. So I can make defenses with the cactus. If I make a base out here in the uh, in the desert or in the sandy area, so let's take my shovel and get some sand so we can make some glass and start making lanterns. And sand sand is um, a finite resource, so you have to be a little bit careful with it. It will not grow back, just like in Minecraft. You have to find it, and pick it up. And when you run out of sand, that's it. Uh, beneath the sand is dirt, as you may be able to tell. Go away. So if I go over here, the grass from this area here is going to start spreading into where the sand was. That already did. So I have some sand now, 41. Whoops. Let's get my sword and kill the slime. And get back to my base here. I need to make a furnace. And I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough stone, so I need to make pick up some more stone here. There's not much stone here, so we might need to move the base again to another place with more stone. Let's just see how much we're going to get here. And you can see if I have low endurance, I don't do much damage with my uh, weapon here or my pick. So if I go fast, I start to 2, 3, 
one if I let it fill. 17, 16. So it's important not to let your endurance get low or empty. Also because you walk significantly slower if it's empty. So let's see, we can make a furnace and an oven. And let's put down the furnace, plonk, and the oven, plonk. There, and in the furnace, I can make glass. And it uses sand and coal. And let's make eight, because then over here, I can make a lantern. Except I need more slimes, okay? In the furnace, I can make bread. So to make bread, you guessed it, break out the hoe. And just start tilling the earth. And you get seeds. Um, and I need to equip my hoe again. So everything is very much like Minecraft. Hello. Oh, thank you. Now I can make glass. And also, if you walk and tilt soil, if I walk back and forth here, it's going to turn back to normal dirt. So you cannot walk on your, your tilt soil. Notch made this, pro this game in 48 hours, and I know that at least 10 of those he was sleeping, so it's very well done, I think. Oh, and here we have a zombie. Away with you. Okay, so we got some uh, seeds now. I can choose an area over here. Take the seeds in hand and start. Planting. Oops. Go, seed, so, there. And that's going to grow into wheat. Uh, let's see, let's take a look around in the world. As you can see here, I dug too deep with my shovel. I cannot deep this, uh, dig this hole any deeper, but I can, I can dig this away and I get the dirt. And I can take the dirt and I can fill in the holes again, like this. If I go over here, take the shovel, remove the sand, and then remove the dirt, the water is going to flow in. Again, just like Minecraft. This is the swimming animation. It's kind of cute, I think. But I don't want this. I'm going to fill in this because it's annoying, I think. Uh, shovel. And the reason some of these things have funny names is because he didn't have much space here. So there wasn't room to write sh shovel all the way or sword or power glove. So some of the abbreviations are a little funny. But this area is good. There's lots of sand. That's usually quite hard to find. But there's not much uh, rock around here. Hmm. So I gotta go look for some rock. Uh, and I don't want to get lost. Ooh, see, my my weed is coming along. Great. Uh, X. Go down this way. I usually follow the coasts, but because then it's easier to find your way back. Okay. Oh, there's more here. I need to use my pick. Where'd my pick go? Yeah. But not much. What? Oh! <laughs> Stupid thing walked into the cactus and got hurt. Okay, so no more stone there. Let's take sword in hand and go look for more. You cannot attack it diagonally. It's up, down, left or right. So just keep that in mind. 
x. Hmm. Ow. He hit me, I lost two health, so now I'm gonna take the apples and eat them one at a time. Ow, I walked into the thing. Haha. <laughs> Great. Ow! Stupid. <laughs> I'm not I'm <laughs> not much brighter than the uh, the zombie is. Oh, and I did it again. And these are the two I planted. I actually don't know what pick, perhaps. I don't know what tool is best to use on this. Shovel, hoe. I think it's about the same with all of them. I can just use nothing. There. Well, I do need a sword for this guy. There's no saving in the game, so once you're dead, that's it. Your world is deleted, so this is kind of like hardcore. Um, flower, acorn, cactus, cloth. Okay, uh, let's see if we can make a lantern now. Yes, I can show you the lantern. This is it, and you put it down, and it emits a huge light radius. Um, or not huge actually, but pretty large. It's not necessary here on the overworld or what you're gonna call it, but there are uh, different levels to this game. There's one level up to the sky world where the boss lives you need to kill to win the game. And then there are three levels down, I think, where you can uh, find good stuff like gems and iron and gold. So now I got some wheat. I can walk up to the uh, apparently I can't. Oh there we go. I had it in hand so I couldn't use it. So now I have bread as well as apples. And uh, those are the two things that can heal you. Apple heals one, bread heals two. Okay. So that's it for this time. I just wanted to show you the game. There's much, much more than this, but this is just like a test to see if you want to watch me try and beat the game. It might be a long video because, uh, well, the game is pretty big actually for what it is. And if I die, it's game over. So I can just show you that. Died. Oh, time score. Press C to lose. That's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.